Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, go over how to make a sign. I'm trying to uh, check out my equipment um, before tomorrow, before the candidate forum, just to see if, if it's anything that I've done. Uh, because I had real problems with it at the meetings on Tuesday. So we're going to do a small how-to on how to make uh, yard signs uh, using either clean blanks or uh, uh, used signs, right? So what I've got here, um, we're going to make uh, Tommy some signs. And these are blanks that I bought last year uh, for the campaign. And uh, I cleaned off... I cleaned off the signs that were on them last year. Now, if you all you have access to is, um, you know, use signs that have printed stuff on them, right? Uh, you can actually paint them with, I'd say, a glossy would let the the uh, paper, the clear shelving paper, stick to it if that makes sense, and uh, to get rid of what you had on, excuse me, what you had on there before. So like here's uh, an example of what we made last year, and I ran for county council, and uh, as usual, that's horrifying. Uh, it takes a lot personally to actually run for office, and uh, But, you know, there it is. Anyway, I'm cleaning off what I had on yet last year, right? And that we went with, uh, like, some generic ones to kind of, how do I put it, kind of stand out because everybody else had colors and, and all of that kind of stuff. And so we, uh, the rest of us during that election, just had generic black and white just to see if that would attract any more attention and uh it did but it didn't uh both tommy and uh max who ran for sheriff last year had their signs run over so here's here's an example here's how that worked i went ahead and pulled off everything right I threw that away. And we're going to look at what we already have. Okay. So for political signs, you have to have paid for by. And of course, I didn't print that on there. Um, but here's an example of Tommy's that we're going to make. Right. And I've already got that like kind of put together. I use Canva and Publisher. Right. And this is how it comes out. Uh, Tommy's thing is the uh, muddy boots. And so here's how that comes out, if that makes any sense. All right, so I kind of lay it down. And what you're looking for, uh, as you can see over here, I've got like a cutter, which is a lot easier to use. And what I try to do is to get it so I can line up and just, just cut off the, the color or cut off the white. You see what I'm doing right there? All right. And that wasn't festive. Let's try again. Okay. So if it doesn't cut off all the white, you can do one of two things, which that's a line. I could go ahead and use a magic marker you know, a Sharpie to fix that. But we can also go ahead over it and see where it's just right there. We're going to just cut that, right? Just to where it's at. That gets you a better uh, thing, if that makes any sense. And so how we're going to do it is we're lining this up, right? so that it lines up lining it up so it lines up that's awesome okay and we're just going to tape it down as you work with this uh you get an idea okay 
you get an idea of how you you want to do this, right? So um, I like to cut where I see the color, right up next to the edge, right? All right, and so we took all of the white off there, if that makes any sense. And like when it's in the corner, take off that corner. Not any of the color, but take off that corner and line it up here. You see how I'm trying to get the, the page to line up? All right, we're gonna do that. All right, and just the tape down. Now, uh, I need to do two things here. All right. All right. And so, and this will cap it, if that makes any sense. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, if I were doing this right, I would have had, would have been practicing. I kind of practiced up until this point, so we're going to see how well this does. All right. Okay. So I have that. And since it's a political sign and I forgot to print off the paid for by, uh, I made up some strips. And it's on the thingy. We're going to put it right there, and I'm going to use shipping tape because that's an important thing to do. That you have to, you have to do that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you a Tina sign real quick, just because we're going to show you that. And so, when you have these paper signs, you can get really detailed pictures. And uh, it makes it a lot easier. Does that make sense? It, it's, it's vibrant. It's out there. It costs the same whether you put just generic or you put pictures on it. When you put pictures on it, it's a little bit harder to line up all the lines and stuff like that, but that's okay. Uh, it's worth it for the exposure, right? They're different than everybody else's, which makes it nice. So what we're going to do is kind of line it up. I made it a little bit too small, but that's okay. Do not care, right? And what we're going to do is put it on here and use tape, which I could use. Hmm. Doesn't really matter what type you use. I've got both here. And we're just going to put it right there. Right? Now, if I remember to do this right, okay, shelving paper, just the clear, this is duck. This is what's over at Walmart right now, and I can order it in pretty easily uh, online, which is, you know, kind of awesome, right? So, now if you're making signs for a business, which this is totally an awesome, totally way to do it. I mean, this is as close to uh nimble as you can be you can have uh like a sale you can make the sign you don't have to order multiples of anything you make as many as you have or make many as you want and uh, you can advertise or notify or whatever you need to do right so uh this is not just for campaigns Where of that all right, so what I like to do, I'm going to turn on the light, not that it's going to do anything. Yeah, let's do that because I'm getting older and I need to see. And so what you do is you start peeling the paper just right at the edge. Right. Hmm. This may be the most frustrating part of it right here. 
Come on now. There we go. Okay, and so what you want is just like, okay, be difficult. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get just a strip ready. There we go. And I'm gonna just fold that back, okay? And it's easier to work with a fresh new one, right? Okay, so here we go. And we don't, ah, okay. Now, we're going to go to the edge of here and try not to stick it onto the paper, if that makes any sense. We're going to try to get a straight a row as possible. Oh, let me get this not to move. That helps a little bit too. If you have like a million things moving, it's, you know, you try to try to not have that happen, if that makes any sense. So we try to line it up because it's just the width of the paper. Or, yeah. All right. Here we go. Now I've got um, a thing, right? And there's that. So now we're going to get it tight, as tight as we can. And we'll try to get it as smooth as we can, I think. All right. Actually, that did really well. Okay. So we're going to cut it. Actually, I'm going to go back here and get a, a razor blade because it, it's a lot easier to deal with with a razor blade. Here we go. And just go ahead and cut it all right all right so we have it started over here so it started over here right and we're just gonna cut that off and get it ready for the next one Get it all smoothed out. If there were any bubbles, uh, just use your razor blade and kind of like nick it and then press the bubbles out. But we've got almost a perfect covering right here. So, okay. We're just going to fold that over. All right. Now, one of the big things that happens to me all the time is that I need to keep, here's another, you know, Tommy. I need to keep an idea that this, I had a few that were like this way on the other side. So you got to kind of keep an idea, you know, where you're at. And so we're going to flip it over. And there we have it. We have that. Oops. Sorry about this shake. And so that'll be. That'll be fine. Does that make sense? Okay. We're going to... We already have the paid for by. Eh, it's close enough to center. This part of me does not care. Okay. And we're going to stick it like that. All right. Okay. And let's see. The studio is really full, so that's why you see all kinds of stuff. That, that, and I'm just not a big, uh, well, I don't clean that often. Okay, so here we go. We're starting again. I've got that exposed 
shelving paper. We're going to line it up and try to get pretty close. I have a stick and what the thing, well, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Um, the thing of it is, you, you might want to just get a dowel rod or something flat that you can just go ahead and drag along with it and uh, go ahead and have work for you. Okay. So we're going to start it. And we're going to go all the way across. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So I may have been jaggedy with that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and get everything. There we go. Once again, you know, flip it over, right? There we go. Okay. And, you know, go ahead and work it down. Now, so it's still kind of not waterproof, right? Still kind of not waterproof. And what we're going to do, though, is to go ahead and take this this is you know clear shipping tape right and we're just going to go along the edge every whoop stitch doesn't have to be dramatically long what you're doing is trying to keep the water out all right and this should last a pretty good long time does that make sense all right And if you were uh, like really precise, you would be keeping track of where the tape went. Here we go. To make sure that you get good coverage. Or you can just overlap it. That makes sense. All right. Ah. There we go. All right. Okie doke. And I've got like a sealed edge there anyway. So there's that. One good one for Tommy. And we can put the little metal things in it and then go ahead and put them out. And they've got the paid for buy because that's a campaign thing. And uh, you can get into real trouble. All right. But you wouldn't have to have that, of course, if you were uh, just advertising for a business or something, some of that nature. So we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to pretend that I cleaned everything. All right. I think I've got two Tommy's. Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, once again, here we go. I have to, I've been requested to make five signs so you have to get 10 copies right we're just going to tape it just to keep it there and i don't tape it all around because as the the uh shelving paper is moving across it it can actually work it and make it flatter okay and voila all right All right. Ah! Stuff is weird. Okay, hold on. Oh, don't do that. Okay. So that jaggedy edge is hard to deal with, so, but we're going to do it. All right. Now, once again, try to get it to the point where you have just a ledge, right? No. And 
Usually this is around the time I stick it to the paper and then I have to make another copy. But I think we're going to be able not to have to do that. Okay, so here's that. So we can pull it. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to go over here. Try to line it up because we still have some edge here that if we don't have, you know, well, and then we, we put stuff on it anyway. Let's see. Let's get that tighter so that we can get a good clean pull on this. All right. That's irritating. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that's, I think we have paper up here. That's okay. That's all right. We can fix that. All right, so there's that. And take a little bit of time with this. I'm going to, back here, well, it's still stuck because that was irritating. Whoa! Okay, so while that was stuck, well, hmm. Wind it up again. We're going to leave it up there for a second and we're going to cut this off. All right. Whew. Okay. It's still stuck. We're trying to tidy it up here. All right, now we're uh, going to go ahead and pull this around again and try to fold that down, get ready for the other side. We're going to press down on this to make everything fix. And so even though we don't have paper, we have it all over here, which is fine. Even though we have it like this, but the uh, clear shipping tape will actually take care of that. Okay, so we're going to do this, seal the edge, and seal the edge down here because we have so much extra, right? And there, that's taken care of. So we're going to get the other one and be aware of where it lays, okay? Ah. So I always have a sign that I have to redo because I put them the wrong way. Okay. And we're going to get the tape. Now you can get more precise with it if you want to or make the pages bigger or whatever you want to do. But this will be fine for what we're using it for just because I'm just saying it will be, right? That looks like it's yeah. Let me do that. Okay. Now we've already prepped it. We're gonna line it up. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh. We want things moving. So there we go. I'm going to look at this again. And line it up because it's exactly the width of the sign, right? All right, now.
Get that out of the way. All right. Where did I put that? Back. Now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to cut it. Okay. Get this ready for the next one. And fold it back. So that's sticky. We're going to put this up here. Out of the way. Okay. So. That's all sealed up. And so we have a little bit of a bubble. Oh, there it is. See, looking for that. Now I don't need you. All right. We're going to press it down. Right. And there's my stick. I don't think it's going to do much. All right, because we have that up there. So we have a little bit of space here, but what we can do, of course, is shipping tape. <gasps> the magic of shipping tape. All right. So it. Mm -hmm. Now, because we know that there's a space on the other side that's having issues. Okay, so there's a lot of plastic right up here, so we don't really need to do that. And this is like tight too. So, and that may be a problem. All right. But see, there's, I feel an edge. So we're going to maybe go over it anyway. So we're trying to keep it so that it lasts at least a month and a half. Right. There we go. Let's just put as much plastic stuff on it as we can. Now, okay, so if you're concerned about the environment and like that's a lot of plastic, um, let me just go ahead and say uh, the big plastic is the problem. And a lot of signs get thrown away and but this is a way to repurpose and make it work okay so that's all sealed up that's all sealed up and ready to go so we've got two down out of five that has been requested of me okay so i want to go over the uh cutting it again right so here's here's how that lays right all right now what we're trying to do once again is how do i put this okay you're looking for the dark edges right and so cut it the way uh when you cut the white away it'll go on top Okay, so we've got this. We're going to cut this. All right. Just the one. 
just a little bit under the white. We've left the white here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start here. Now, once again, if you have white where you have black or whatever, um, go ahead and just use a marker if you wanna do that. We're gonna, I think that's close enough, right? All right. Okay. We're going to do this bottom one, right? Ah! Okay. Now, when you have a corner, just cut the white off. White off the corner, okay? And you put that on top. You match up the shadows, you match up whatever you can, and get it out as far as you can. Oop, see? And then, you know, have it move so that it's irritating, right? All right, so we've got that, and we're going to do both sides. This will be the path. Now, if you still have white, just trim it. Okay? And so it should go on just like that. So we'll, we'll fix this. Hold on. We're going to get there. All right. So this is the cap. Always lay, the, of course, the cut piece on top. All right? And if there's any white that shows through... All right. Okay. So that, that looks good. That actually looks good. All right. But good to me. Whoops. Maybe not so much, but that'll, that'll be okay. It, it's hard to peel it back up once you've stuck it. All right. So we're just going to let it go like that. And because these are uh, political signs, you know, and from the road, this is going to look cool, right? And because it's a political sign, paid for by, because I didn't print it off before. All right, and so you have that blank. And so, like, if we were really frisky and we only had just so many signs i would put one of these on one side and this on the other because these are the two people that are running for office in our uh, city of salem election so anyway i think i think that's brought you all the way around um i'm gonna go ahead and let it go and i'm actually gonna maybe do some signs today and uh uh well hey thank you for listening uh, this is Rhonda Green. Um, that green woman. Thank you so much.